Hey, I'm John Tabler. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at what happens when you've had a starter stored in the refrigerator for months. Can you still use it? What's it look like? Here it is. So it's been in there a couple months. I haven't used this one. You take the plastic off and you can see on the top, it's really it has a dark color, kind of a blackish color. And I'm going to pour that top off into there. And you see that's liquid that the air has gotten to and it's corrupted it, but it actually gets alcoholic a very small amount and it's called the hooch. And that comes from a, a strange title from the Huchinu Indians that were off the coast of British Columbia and they made a drink based uh, on that. And so that's why you hear that that called the hooch from time to time when you have an alcoholic beverage. But once you pour that off, then all you really need to do is just, you can see that this is a little bit darker on the top. You just scrape off that top layer. And I'm getting my starter ready because I'm gonna make some really good bread. Once you get that, I like to scrape it off. You really don't have to because the lactobacillus in the starter, which has the supernatural properties of detoxifying your body, uh, detoxifying sickness. You can do a search on lactobacillus, put the word study, so you'll see an actual scientific study, and lactobacillus study, and you can put cancer, you can put uh, sickness, you can put COVID, you can put anything related to it, and see what it does in your body. Put lactobacillus, study, heavy metals, and you'll see that it's really a supernatural thing. It actually detoxifies pesticides uh, in studies. After eight days, very toxic pesticides weren't even detectable any longer. So we wanna get this into our diet. And once we do that, what I do is I just transfer it to another cup because it has some stuff on the side that's built up. And you can actually take another spoon, take a little bit off of there. It's tangy, sour. As long as it's sour and there's nothing that smells like a... Really, if, if, the, if there's something wrong with it, it's going to smell like something died and rotted. I mean, it'll be horrible. You won't be able to even get it up to your mouth. If it just is pleasantly sour and tangy, it's perfect. You could actually use it like that. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, is just add a little bit to rejuvenate it because that's your battery. That's your battery, your jump starter for the rest of your flour once you already have it made like that. It's your jump starter for the rest of it. So you can put a few scoops in of flour. You want to use purified water. And uh, I use a reverse osmosis system called Express Water. It goes under the sink. No more buying bottles of water. It's right there. Perfect. You really don't have any problems. That's the one I chose. I put it in the description down below. There's a link. You can look at it. I'd recommend everybody get one because buying bottled water when it's going to leach out the plastics into the water and really uh, some of the water is very suspect at, at that point. But if I do buy bottled water, I buy reverse osmosis water. Spring water. It'll have all sorts of discolorations. You really don't know where that came from or what's in it. If I have to, I'll buy it, but otherwise, no. Now you see, I'm stirring that up. And remember, that flour has gluten in it, which is basically glue or a gummy substance. And the lactobacillus in the starter will actually neutralize it. It completely wipes it out. It's really a miracle and it makes the nutrients many multiple times assimilable. But now we have a starter, we're ready to go. We're gonna do the same thing. You're, the starter's gonna make that puff up, but 
uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to add it and rejuvenate it. I just want a little extra. And that's how you do your starter. You can put back a piece of plastic over it, leave it sit out, and it's going to puff up. And then you're going to use it when you make your dough. And it's perfect. It's really simple. There's nothing hard about it. Don't complicate it. Just make sure that you, uh, when you're rejuvenating starter taken out of the refrigerator, you just basically clean it up and add a little bit to it or clean it up and use it just like it is. It's not complicated. And so we're going to use that to make the best, most delicious sourdough bread. Sourdough's the deal. Sourdough is real bread. They call it sourdough, but it's always been bread. Leavened bread. Leaven comes from the word meaning uh, to boil, and that's exactly what happens in this naturally. Happens the same way in wine. If you make wine, I have some apple right here, but it has to be raw. Just like if you heat this up or cook that flour, it's not going to work any longer. But if you take the natural ground flour uh, from the wheat, there's something in it given by God put that in there and it makes it so it's just magical. It starts bubbling on all on its own and preserves itself. That's the thing that you got to get in your diet, cleans your body out, makes you healthy. Um, I would say wealthy and wise, but <laughs> we'll cross our fingers on that one, right? And so that's the great thing about starter. It's not going to get old. It protects itself. That liquid on the top protected it. And now you've got the best uh, potential starter in a few hours it's going to neutralize the gluten of the new flour that I put in there and you're good to go and you can use it uh, and so hit like and subscribe I'm going to see you in the next video we're going to make bread